Hi. So we're going to look at using a positive interrupter. So a positive interrupter is going to be a sound or a word that you make that means to the dog, pay attention to me, I'm going to ask you to do something. So we're generally going to use these when the dog's doing something we'd rather that they didn't and it's going to save us from having to nag them and things like that because it's very easy to slip into the ah ahs and the nose of everything. So I'm going to choose something completely different for Finn. He has the kissy noise so like that. You might want to choose the clicky noise or um, if noises are dif difficult then you can choose a, a word or a phrase like what's this or something like that. So I'm going to use what's this with him because he doesn't know that one so you can see how it all works. Finn, come here the son. All we do is say it and then feed them. What's this? Regardless of what the dog's doing. So if they're looking at you, happy days. If they're not, it's fine. What's this? You go to the dog. So he started to walk off there. As soon as they're finished, what's this? I'm going to give it again. What's this? I'm going to do this a few times. And what you'll start to see is their head will start turning. What's this? And then we just go down and feed him. He's not actually found that treat yet. That was me being impatient. What's this? Good. And that's him looking up now. What's this? So now he's starting to look at me. What's this? Good boy. Recycling treats. So this is how we charge up a positive interrupter. Now situations you can use this in, he's, if he's watching a bird for example, and I think, oh, you might go off and chase that, I can just say to him, what's this? And then he's going to turn and he's going to look at me, and then I can reward him. What's this? Good boy. Staring at another dog. I can now say, what's this? And he's going to turn and he's going to look at me like that. And then I can choose to say to him, right, come on, we're walking away. Or I can get him back on the lead if I need to. If he's jumping up on something he's not supposed to, rather than me going, ah, don't do that. Then I can say, what's this? And then he's going to be like, yes, what would you like? And then I can reward him for putting his feet on the ground. So this is another way that we can build focus um, with our dogs in a way that the dog wants to give us that attention. So go and charge up your positive interrupters and then try using them in different situations instead of resorting to their name multiple times or saying words like no and ah ah which then mean you're not going to follow up with a reward. Okay? Get in your videos and let me see how you're getting on. Bye for now.